guys um so before i start you know the whole usual video thing i just want to tell you guys that today was my birthday by the time you guys are seeing it it would be yesterday may 24th was my birthday but technically by the time i'm posting this um in california it's technically still my birthday but you know technically it's not my birthday anymore but like yeah it's my birthday and this is the reason why this video is a little bit late but you know yeah i just wanted to let you guys know for some reason but yeah this video is going to be about the possible rebooting of the entire Power Rangers multiverse and my take on it. Y'all already know from a couple videos what I think about this topic, but I'm just going to expand on it because I saw a comment in my comment section saying that someone heard a rumor about them rebooting the entire Power Rangers universe after Cosmic Fury. So, yeah, I disagree with that and we're going to get into that in this video. But yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can notify every time I post a premiere go live on this very channel. Leave down in the comments below your favorite Power Rangers universe. That could be from the comics, that could be the main show universe. Leave down in the comments below because I want to know I have a conversation and debate with you guys. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Remember, you're in the zone, the superhero zone. Cue intro. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Super Rose 101, but the Super Ring has never done. My name is Xavier Lee. For those of you who don't know me, I'll be your host. And you already know what we're doing from the beginning of the video. And yeah. So, hopping right into this. I do not think after Cosmic Fury, the Power Rangers universe, the 30 years we've built in this Power Rangers universe is going to be completely rebooted and completely canceled. That's not what I'm thinking at all. I've mentioned this in my... I believe, I don't remember the title of the video, but it was about Izzy and Fern joining the team or leaving the team. It was somewhere in that um, where I mentioned how I think that what they mean by reboot is that the power, the new Power Rangers universes that they're going to be building are going to be moving to another universe, right? While this TV show universe is going to be going into like a, you know, hiatus or a limbo sequence right because we're not going to be dealing in this universe because that's the thing about multiverses you can't really kill a universe unless you really really try to um and it's really hard to kill off a universe in either comics or media like for example in marvel the comics universe is still comics it's still canon to the main mcu timeline right it was recently confirmed thanks to the spider spider into the spider verse trailer that the MCU timeline that we've been following throughout the infinity saga and throughout the uh multiverse saga that we're currently in um, that the Earth that we've been following is, uh, Universe 1, Um, and it was originally said to be 616, but that's the comics universe. See how everything comes all together? That's what they're doing with Power Rangers. They're establishing an already great universe. So I'm going to reiterate this theory. So I'm thinking that in Cosmic Fury, something catastrophic is going to happen, uh, like Shattered Grid, Earth Shattering is going to happen. Uh, to the entire multiverse and I think that our the show universe that we're used to is going to get catapulted into a universe such as the void the void in the comics is the area where a star full of zeo crystals was put was placed in order to be destroyed uh, by the Morphin Masters because the Zeo star was way too powerful because we know by reading comics and by the shows that Zeo powers are the most powerful range of power powers ever and the fact that there was a whole star full of them or whole planet full of them was absolutely dangerous so they locked it off in a void dimension away from you know civilization civilization in time and even more from master stay behind to to watch over it and in doing in placing that uh planet or star full of zeo crystals um in another void dimension they place other universe or other universe fragments in there which is why people are in there and the praetor praetor which was the evil morphin master um he ended up, you know, being destroyed by, you know, Shattered Grid remnants because uh, characters from Shattered Grid that did not get placed in the new Morphin Grid were finding their way to get back into their Morphin Grid by going through the Void Dimension. And in doing so, the Void ends up getting recalibrated uh, back into the Power Rangers universe and everything is all fine and dandy, or so we think. Because ever since Shattered Grid, there have been, like, it's kind of like Shattered Grid when everything was destroyed and then put back together. It's kind of like when you break a mug and then try to glue it back together with glue. Those cracks are still there, and the cracks are slowly going to be burst open by dark energy such as Dark Spectre, which, who is running a rampant throughout the comics. Mistress Vile, who is being influenced by Dark Spectre, and pretty soon, more than likely, that evil uh, Lord Draken uh, Dark Spectre hybrid, you know? 
Um, so yeah, I think something multiverse shattering is going to happen, and then in Cosmic Fury or after Cosmic Fury, because it would not make sense for them to reboot thirty years of Power Rangers. We worked so hard to get to this point. There are so many Rangers who still want to come back and reprise their roles. Um, I just don't think it would be a smart marketing strategy in order to do that. So yeah, I think they're going to start their own set of universes that do not reference uh, the 30 years that we've built up that we're used to. Um, and if they do mention it, it's going to be like tiny references like Angel Grove or It's Morphin Time or certain things like that. And I just think they just want to start new and fresh and do their whole uh, new um, universe because uh, in order for Power Rangers to be great again, they have to get people reinterested because people only think about Mighty Morphin when it comes to Power Rangers. And as you can see by the wall behind me, there are hundreds of Power Rangers that people are not putting into consideration and not put taking into consideration when it comes to different Power Ranger seasons. When people think of Power Rangers, they only think of Mighty Morphin. And that's kind of sad, but it's true. If they reboot everything and shift everything to another universe, still having that 30 years of Power Rangers in that universal timeline, still in that timeline, but focusing on another universe um, and building that up, that, you know, would bring more fans in and get fans to know newer teams that are being developed and so on and so forth. And then we bring in the old uh, timeline and fuse it together through another multiverse shattering event and then bada bing bada boom we got the new characters we got the new new characters and we got the older characters and everybody knows them because at that point we would be, power rangers as a brand would be marvel level but that's just my hot take i by reboot i do not think they're going to destroy a whole universe in the multiverse because it's very hard to destroy a universe and yeah so do not freak out until we get more news on it but this is just my take and i again i'm gonna reiterate i do not think that they're going to spend 30 years building up for Hasbro to buy the brand um, just to kill it and do their own Power Rangers thing. That just doesn't make sense. And plus, they're just going to keep doing merchandise such as the Lightning Collection and other merchandise and stuff like that focus on these other seasons. It would not make sense to kill it off because if they make the merchandise, so blah, 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 and it wouldn't make sense for them to make merchandise for these past seasons that are technically not getting it anymore. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say on this. Um... Hopefully this is the last video I have to make on this topic. Uh, so, yeah, leave down in the comments below your questions about pa the Power Rangers re reboot and uh, your concerns, and I'll try to answer your questions and uh, take your concerns into consideration when giving you the answers in the comments below. But, yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can notify every time I post a Miracle Live on this very channel. Leave down in the comments below your favorite Power Rangers universe, whether it's the comics universe, whether it's the show universe, whether it's the... Uh, RPM, Dimensional Universe, or the Dino Charge Universe. Leave it down in the comments below because I want to know, have a conversation and debate with you guys. Make sure that you follow my Instagram and stuff for the most exclusive Super Heroes 101 content. And again, I just want to thank you for all the birthday wishes um, that I have been getting. Um, shout out to all you guys and a shout out to my parents because they made this day very special for me because I did not really want to celebrate my birthday at all and they made it very special. Um, I appreciate you guys. I don't know if you guys are actually watching my channel right now because they don't watch it as much as I would like them to. But hopefully they are, because this is a shout-out for them. So, yeah, shout-out to my parents for making my day special again. And, yeah, if you guys want more Power Rangers uh, discussion or all-around Super Bowl fan-related content, you're going to have to wait to make this video. And remember, yippee ki let's ride! Let's ride.